My father has laid the groundwork with theoreticians about Philadelphia experiment and other experiments. What does that have to do with me? Other than the fact of that, uh, all I can say is that uh, if it wasn't for... He never told his kids this, and he kind of kept it secret until a couple of weeks before he died. Um, I kind of regretfully say that. Um, I don't agree with what he did on the other side of the pond in Nazi Germany, but I'll tell you one thing. I think he had a lot of guts in coming here and doing what he did. He was hated in his own land. In fact, there was a, there was a million dollar in gold reward for anybody who could kill him. Just bring the picture back of the dead, the dead person, and it never happened. Anyway, back to uh, topic number one is dumb bases or deep underground military bases. We've been basically lied to, folks. Uh, we've been lied to a long time. Number one, the alien question. Uh, nobody really knows the truth. We've been ruined by Madison Avenue. Has painted painted a very unrealistic picture of what's going on with outer space aliens and and, and the insider government, especially at Groom Lake. This particular facility, the hat shows. Uh, this wasn't the original insignia. This is kind of like the a local uh, uh, fish wrapper type insignia. And the original insignia had a skunk on it because uh, I was part of the infamous skunk words. So uh, anyway, this particular base originally is housed up to 117 live alien uh, critters or whatever you want to call them. Um, right now, it's not housing much of anything. Most of the stealth hardware has been has been removed. They moved it over to Kirtland Air Force Base. First of all, I want to tell you about aliens and the alien agenda. Back in 1954, under the Eisenhower administration, the federal government decided to circumvent the Constitution of the United States and form a treaty outside of the borders of the United States with 